Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Sniper Elite 4. We are still here in the Regalino Viaduct. So far, we've done quite a chunk of all the stuff we needed to do, and we're now just working around this last corner. So up ahead, we do have a secure checkpoint to clear, which is not a... I think it's just a side little mission. We don't have to do it, but I'm trying to do everything as we go through. We also need to destroy an ammo cache and uh, destroy it again there. I believe that's going to end up being a satchel charge, I would imagine on that and then the last thing is to destroy the railgun and there's a sniper up there as well that'd be interesting we'll have to try and clear that out at some point but let's go back into the game it is up here where we're looking at so be interested to see if we can see anyone I think because we're on the lower ground it's going to be very difficult from this angle to try and take anybody out prematurely um, that's the wrong button wasn't it yeah it's going to be quite difficult isn't it we might need to just sneak up and see what we can do. Whoa, 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 there's a guy there. At the top of the hill. He's sort of on his own though, isn't he? There's nobody really around near him. Oh, there's a bit of paper in there, we'll take that. Collect some of these letters from home and so forth while we're here. We've got some rifle ammo and a trip mine as well. I wonder if that could be... Would that be a sneaky thing we could do? Get up there and melee kill him and then place a trip mine in his body? Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go. I think we should do that. So we're going to go for the knife kill and then while no one's looking we're going to plant a trip mine on his body. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We have done this once already, uh, I think the last episode I think it was. So if we can do it again then that would be a nice sneaky little way of getting into this one. Oh, he's turned his back on us. He's not paying any attention to us at all here, is he? So nobody noticed. So now we need to get in there. We need to, to R1 him, don't we? Uh, that's not gone well. <laughs> that's not gone well at all. Ah. Okay, we're a bit too close there then. Okay. It was a lovely idea, but it was just a bit too close, wasn't it? I wonder if we could, like, trip mine it and throw a rock up there. That'd be interesting. We probably could just shoot them all, but I'm just trying to do things a little bit more interesting. That's a terrible place for a, um... That's a terrible place for the, uh... For the respawn, isn't it? But I think we got away from it there. We got away with it. I thought we were going to try and get a double kill there, but... And then we're going to get our first kill cam of the episode, though, and it's going to be straight through that guy's... Well, all of his internal organs, really, just completely exploded. It's gone down as a liver shot, but there was a lot of stuff there. Um, I don't know what's going on up there now. The whistle's being blown, which is not a good sign for us. That means they're going to call in support. Apparently there's a guy right ahead of us. But I don't quite know where he is. Back around so we can find a different angle from here maybe. Doesn't look it. Zoomed in a bit far aren't we? Um, got no grenades left. Threw a rock, he heard that. Throw a rock like there. Well, looking at the map, I've got an, a rough idea of where they are. And they're not really 100% sure where I am at the moment, are they? There is a guy there, but I can't see him to get the shots.
He is over there, isn't he? There he is. It's him down. But right, they heard the gunshots, and so now I can back away, can I? So they're now going to come to where they heard the gunshot. Or are they? Are they going to defend? It looks like they're defending. But um, that's not necessarily a good... Oh, hang on a minute. Can we get up that rock? This could be a great position if we can. I'm trying to trick up the iron. I didn't realise there was a way through there. I managed to shoot his grenade, apparently. That means there's a sneaky back little way I didn't know about. How did he get round? Oh, there's a hill there. I did not know that. There's another... There's a chest here. Let's get a quick look in there. Got some shotgun ammo, some TNT. Be nice to have got another trip mine, to be honest. So now the officer's going down towards where the gunshot was. He doesn't quite know where we are, which is good. No point in blowing your whistle, mate. You're the only one there. He's blowing his whistle like crazy. He's absolutely cacking himself here. That's the shot. It was difficult to get past that tree as well, but we got it eventually, and that is him down. I think that should give us the all clear now, won't it? Can't be fair. There we go. There's the all clear, because nobody else was aware of this fight ongoing. So now I can uh, loot these guys. It was a great idea to start off with, wasn't it? Just to, just to try and knife that guy and then uh, lace his body with a trip mine and try and take somebody else out. But evidently the game had different ideas. And uh, I can't believe it respawned us literally where we were. That was a terrible respawn. But luckily we had enough time just to turn around and leg it. I think the game is actually quite forgiving in quite a few ways. And that's pretty... Probably quite a good thing about it because it would be a bit of a pain if the game was too difficult and I think it does give you a lot of a lot of help along the way um, with certain things such as I'm um, showing you the bullet drop of course with the um, with the the little box when you hold your breath and stuff like that so it's pretty good and um, is this clear now this is not clear and um, that transport depot must be where the nicest are supplying if I destroy it, I'll give him a difficult... Okay, so destroy the transport depot. How would you destroy it? By shooting these, potentially? Let's back away, because I don't want to be uh, too close, if that is the case. I bet it's not this, is it? But I'll give it a go. Okay, it might have been. That blew up a truck. There's one down. Oh, God, it blew up again as I walked past. It's annoying, isn't it? Um, same over here as well. More explosions over there. Wow, it's really going for it now. I believe this will blow up if it takes enough damage. There we go, if it takes enough damage. So maybe we just have to destroy all three trucks then, maybe. Where's the fuel tank on that bad boy? Oh, I've got to remember to stay away because I keep blowing up again. That's the fuel tank on the side of it. So that one is definitely done. That transport depot might be supplies in. to take it out. There we go, there we go. We just have to destroy the three trucks. Easy done, easy done. Right. So now our next one is going to be to destroy the weapons cache, which is up here. Which is not too bad, because it looks like we marked quite a few of the people on there already when we were doing an earlier part of the game. Try and get a little bit of extra height up here. There's a lot of people through there, isn't there? A lot of people. Ah, I did spot something there. What is that then? That is an oil drum. The fact there's an oil drum makes me think there's something there. 
that the order has been placed for me to blow up. Be it people or what, I'm not sure, but... Okay. So that's why I've got to place the charge just there. There's a lot of people around this area, there not there? A lot of people. Um, Hoffentlich passiert bald mal was. Including a guy over there. Konzentrier dich auf deine. Oh god, I've been spotted. I have been spotted then. I can spot another couple of people here. There's one there. There was one back there. I saw him walk past. I want to make sure I spotted as many people as I possibly can. Is that something there? No, just some red flowers. There's a guy there. Right. See, our sound was masked there for a short period of time. Not quite enough, though, was it? I'd like to be able to line these two guys up, if I can. It's not going to happen, is it? This is going to be a very cheeky way, because we could end up in trouble, because there's a lot of people here. So we need to try... If I can... If I can wait for the sound masking, but... It doesn't last very long, the sound masking at all, does it? I got spotted again by somebody there. Where's the sound masking? Come on. There it is. Right, explosion her, but my, my sound was masked. They had no idea where the shot came from. We did kill somebody. So everyone's now alert, but they've got no idea where we are. Which is the key. I think. Don't think I've got a clear shot on anyone at the moment. Is there anything on that truck I can blow up, maybe? There is a sniper up there as well. I'd like to get the sniper out first, to be honest with you. It's going to be difficult through this tree line, though, isn't it? It is going to be difficult through the tree line. I've lost him now, wherever he is. He's up there somewhere. Oh, you know, I can see his head. I can see it. I took the shot. If I've taken their sniper out, that'd be incredible. Boom. Straight through the side of the head. Now that is a shot, that was. Let's back away now. Let them come to where they think the gunshot was fired from. I think someone's gonna, someone's gonna make the advance. Or are they gonna give up on it? Seem to have given up on it. Oh no, there is a guy. The guy around this left hand side who's interested. What's that then? That's no, just uh, some chairs, but they were glowing red. So he's interested, but he's behind that big tree, and I don't really want to go and empty myself. I put myself in danger. enough though. That'll be enough to cave his skull and blow his eye out. So gunshot was heard but they're still not sure where it came from. We've done well so far at remaining a ghost while taking a few of these guys out. And I think by doing that we can probably come around the left hand side a bit now because I think we've taken out of the guys that were covering the left hand side uh, with that explosive barrel area earlier on. So there's a radio guy at the back there, so we need to get him out as soon as possible. But I did just see another sniper on the map. I'm sure I did. So the sniper is... I think that symbol there is the sniper. 
He's a long way away though. He's 315 meters away. Wow, that's a long way. He literally is right over here. At this side, okay. So that's where I need to place the charge, just down there. There's a generator down there as well. We could probably shoot and get some explosion going on. Right, so let's back down to here. Is there anything up here that's going to assist us in any way? Doesn't look like it, no. But there is potentially a shot there on this guy. And there it is. That, my friends, is the shot right in the brain of that guy. And again, we stay ghost. Excellent. We're doing really, really well here. Stealth specials and everything. This is probably the best bit of gameplay I think I've done so far. So we'll need to kill that radio guy as soon as we possibly can because he's the guy who's going to bring in the, um, the backup. But it's getting a clear shot on him is going to be very, very difficult, isn't it? But it's very, very important that we do get that. Um, can I walk through this way? I think I can. So I'm sure we've cleared out this area now. Everyone seems further down there. So I don't know what that other little symbol is there on the left-hand side, the, the leftmost symbol. Like a little V with a little dot in the middle of it, but the radio man's the one I'm going to concentrate on. Ah, we can see now there's a big space here. It's a big open area. So I've got my concentration on the radio man. So I can actually see the head of here. Come on, mate. Come on. Let me have it. Let me have the shot. Oh, that was a shot, that was. How was that not? I'm sure I lined that up on his head. I'm sure I did. Right, is there anything else up here we can we can utilise to our advantage? Right, here he comes again. No, that's not him. Radio guy's down here now. I want to try and make sure radio guy's on me take out because if he calls in reinforcements we could be in trouble. So what's this guy over here then? He is... I don't know what he is, but I could take him out right now, but I want to take out Radio Guy next. He's a target, and he's coming a bit closer to me, is he? It looks like he is going to pop back out of this bit. He's only 133 metres away, so this shouldn't be too bad of a shot. We just need him to come into the open. I can't move and get him in a better angle can I? No I can't. But there he is, he's in the open. That's it. That is the one I wanted. Right, radio guy is down. And again, they heard the gunshot but I'm still a ghost and I can just disappear into the distance. And we can uh, disappear back off. We've got some more rifle ammo which is what we need. This is going really well so far. They've got no idea where I am. They've not found us at all yet. You know what? I can get a shot on that other sniper now as well. I can get a shot on that other sniper. There it is. Go on. Boom. Right through the neck of that other sniper. Right, I think that's both their snipers down now. I can't believe I pulled that off. Could not believe I pulled that off and still they don't know where I am. This is going so well. Right. There's another guy there. A couple of explosive barrels there and there. Explosive barrel down there. Okay. I think he's too far away from that explosive barrel now to get an advantage from it, isn't he? But Another good shot, though, on the guy on the bridge. Oh, through both eyeballs. <laughs> oh, I, can't. I don't know why I'm laughing at this. 
I don't know why I'm laughing at shooting a guy through both his eyeballs. I think this game's bringing out a very sadistic side of me. It really is. As I took another guy out on the bridge of a headshot and still, we are a ghost. We are just picking these guys off one by one. And nobody has any idea who it is or where we're from. They don't even have any idea those two guys on the bridge are dead, I don't think. And the sniper as well, because they knew the sniper had died. They ducked down looking for cover. And now uh, everyone's dead over there. Can I line up anything else on the bridge? No, not really. Is that a safe, is that? Or is that some sort of different soldier? I don't know. Well, I think we're going to call it there for an episode now anyway. I think we've done really, really well to do what we've done so far. We've uh, really demolished them and they haven't even noticed where we are so far. There's once or twice they've heard the gunshots, we've disappeared and they've not been able to find us. And we've taken out two snipers with two cracking shots. I think every shot we've taken so far in this episode has been pretty damn good actually. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it there and we'll come back in a couple of days time for some more Sniper Elite 4. I reckon in the next episode we can probably finish off this, uh, this scenario. There's a lot of guys left to kill here, but I think this is probably what's left on the entire map. And once we've killed these guys, I think we're good to go on to scenario number four. I've been Shabby Gamer. thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you very, very soon for some more Sniper Elite 4.